Hi everyone, we are here to say the Hatsuno Sora Girls High School Idol Club has joined the river for your family. Wow, that was really, really quite a mouthful. Uh, so, it somehow seems to be part of the Love Life universe, but I'm not entirely uh, up to date or like the series or familiar with the series, so I really do not know much about this set. I just know that they are school idols, they have performance, they have songs. That's about it. So I really do not know much about it. I do believe there is an anime as well. So yeah, maybe uh, depending on how I feel about the uh, artwork on the cards, I might decide to check that out later on. So anyway, I do have uh, three boxes to go through today. Uh, in terms of rarity breakdown, you can see we have six SP. Oh, interesting. Oh, there is. I was thinking, where is the premium parallel? He decided to put the premium parallel all the way down here. Okay. So, there are six SPs as well as six premium parallels to look out for. Uh, not sure what's the ratio. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I usually don't do very well in River for you. I tend to be doing a lot better for... Oh, so each box does have a promo box topper. So anyway, I usually do much better for white sauce compared to River for you, but yeah, let's just see what happens today. Starting with the box topper card. Ah, so they did something similar like Azalin where every box has a box topper that contains a partner card. That's nice. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, my voice still sounds like that. I'm not fully recovered yet. I hope that I can get my voice back soon. Although, yeah, this uh, husky sounding voice isn't too bad either. Definitely giving my colleagues uh, at work a lot of fun when I talk to them. Triple rare. Okay, that is our first triple rare. Our rebirth card. Oh, RR Plus, that's something. I'm going to put that aside. Usually for parallel voice version that is like at least a double and above, I do want to keep that aside. And the parallel voice do look quite amazing. Definitely not a texture foil. I mean, you want a texture foil, you have to get either the SPs uh, or minimally, you know, uh, the... NDP, which is the foil, full foil, what am I saying? The full art foil partner cards. C plus. I mean, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, Idol series usually. So, as I'm opening, well, I think that this is a decently cute set, but so far, um, a plus, so far, nothing really screams out to me as something that would get me to watch the anime yet. But I mean, it is cute. Uh, the character design are cute. The art is cute. But, um, just feels like a typical idol kind of set to me. So, doesn't exactly tell me that I must go and watch the anime. That's just how I feel about it. But yeah, as you guys are watching the art of the card and everything, let me know if this is something that you might want to look more into. Another double rare plus. So I mean, if you look at the character design, the outfit and all that, it's decent, but somehow it does also look a bit generic. Like, it just has that typical idol set kind of vibes for me. Maybe that I'm just personally not really huge into idol sets, so that could be a reason why I just think that mm, it is okay, but not something I have to watch. Oops, didn't slice that properly. But I mean, still, I always enjoy opening uh, before you because uh, regardless of the sets, whether 
is something that I is a series I enjoy or not. I usually like to collect the NBP Rarity Partner cards because they really look fantastic. The only reason why you want to go into the uh Rebirth for you, at least for me, is just for that full oh, art, nice foil partner cards. Those are really, really amazing looking. R plus. <clears throat> it does seem like we are pulling more of the higher rarity parallel foils. Okay, triple rare. I was seeing some go there and thinking what it could be. But yeah, it's just a triple rare. I mean, if we could even get an NBP, that would be fantastic. I'm not asking for like an SP or anything because I know those are really hard. Uh, previously, when I opened the entire case of Rebirth for you, it seems like in a case of 30 booster boxes, there were only 3 SPs. So, I don't think they have deviated much from that ratio. So essentially, to pull an SP uh, in Rebirth for you is like 1 in 10 boxes. Partially, the reason because the boxes for Rebirth for you is also a lot smaller compared to Wise Force. We have less packs, less cards. So, yeah, in a way, that's why the ratio also tends to be higher than Wise Force. But if you take into account the cost of the individual products, I think it will go down to about the same price for your odds to pull an SP. Speaking of which, I actually think it was quite a while back since we last put an SP in River for you. Yeah, I can't recall exactly when we actually put the last one. Was it Eminence in Shadow Volume 2? Yeah, I think that might be the set. I can't recall. And unfortunately, you know, like River for you, uh, unlike White Source, where your consolation price, even if you don't put SP, is like those SR foils. Unfortunately, we don't get any guarantee in River for you. Either you pull it or you don't. Okay, at least this is something. This is a GRE. If you can see here, GRE. Basically, it's a rebirth card, but with the gold uh, foiling around the border. So it does make it look really nice. It's a really nice card. And there is a parallel version of that as well that will look even more fantastic. Okay, another triple rare. And just like that, we are already down to our last and final box number three. Like I said, uh, each box compared to Wise Source is a lot smaller. So that's why the ratio is a lot harder to pull an SP here compared to Wise Source. So maybe because of that, I feel that my luck is better in Wise Source. Because I usually don't buy that many boxes for River for you. Okay, let's see. Can we at least, at the very, very least, pull an MVP? I really want to see how the Foy partner card looks like. Because so far, Rebirth for You has never ever disappointed me with how those NBP look. So yeah, well, an SP might be considered a top order, but at least an NBP would be nice, right? Uh, plus, but it does seem like we are pulling a lot of the double rare parallel versions. Not sure if there's parallel versions for the triple rare as well. Oh, let's see. Is there? Oh, there are parallel versions of the triple rare. Okay, so maybe that might be uh, hard to pull. C plus. R plus So for Rebirth for you, if let's say you don't put any of the higher rarity stuff, you don't even get a consolation like a SR foil. I mean at least for Wise Force you don't put the SP the SR foil actually do look amazing. 
here your consolation would be the triple rares. So well, they are good looking with the uh, gold trim like ages, you know, like how you see in this triple rare card. But it's nowhere near as cool as those SR textured foils that we get in white sauce. So horrible for you. Hope that you pull the chase hit or otherwise, yeah, you don't have any pretty cards to look at. Uh, uh, plus, seems like a lot of the parallel versions of the double rare feature the character in this traditional kimono outfit. I think they are really, very cute. Okay, final pack. Yep, unfortunately, we got nothing. So three boxes of our idol set. Apparently, I do not have any affinity with idols. You don't actually pull any SPs or even an NBP today. But still, yeah, I do enjoy the character designs on this a lot. They are cute as how an idol set should be. The parallel foils do feature the character in alternate outfits and a style. So these are also very nice. But at the very least, we pull a GRE which features the whole group together. So yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing because we open all the new stuff for White Source, Rebirth for You, Build Divide, Union Arena. And of course, the best way to see the first is through a subscription. So remember to turn on all notifications and we will see you all next time. Bye now.